If you work on different gig platforms, think about rideshare or food delivery, let's say. I can basically guarantee you, because I'm in the same boat, that you don't want to waste money. You got your earnings, you got to pay taxes on that, and you have your insurance because you're using your vehicle for business. Now think about that latter part, the insurance, because I don't think it's talked about enough because I want protections but I also want a comprehensive and honestly cheaper policy. Now consider when 62% of all miles driven in the US are just commuting to work. So when you're a gig worker, those commuting miles, the driving is just work. So check this out. In this video, I'm gonna introduce you to a solution that can be a more comprehensive and a cheaper insurance policy for you, but from a company that's actually designing policies with rideshare and delivery drivers in mind. Let me introduce you to Voom Insurance, and I was happy to partner with Voom on this video because again, they're actually designing policies for active rideshare or delivery drivers, and it doesn't matter if you're driving part-time like myself or full-time, switching to Voom could save you up to 60%, which is pretty big, so definitely something to consider. Well, number one, pretty important, lower rates, especially if you're driving more hours and you're using your vehicle primarily for gig work. Another benefit is what Voom calls their deductible gap coverage. So imagine you're driving rideshare, Uber and Lyft in this example. So if you get in an accident, the respective rideshare and company, they're going to pay the claim and then Voom's going to cover that gap in deductible. That is going to reduce the out-of-pocket expense between your Voom deductible and the $2,500 out-of-pocket deductible from some of these rideshare and companies. So in talking to Voom, they mentioned specialty coverage, which is good, but also emphasized exceptional customer service, which is good and a real perk. I don't know if you ever try to get customer service from some of these gig apps, not so great, so that was actually good to hear. Now remember, we want comprehensive coverage with Voom, but we also want a cheaper policy. So let me break down how Voom aims to do that for you. Let's look here when you're offline. You have no intention of working on any of these gig platforms. It's what's called period zero driving. So up top, we see your personal traditional carrier policy. It really is an umbrella, one size fits all policy. Now here's a great perk just for your personal driving, off the clock driving, right? Personal driving that you save money by just paying for what you drive off the clock. All right, now let's go online and what's called period one driving. During this period one, we have minimum coverage and it's only by, let's say, the ride sharing platform in this example. And your traditional auto policy is not gonna cover this unless you have a special hybrid rideshare, et cetera, endorsement, and that could cost you more. So Voom not only has more than just the minimum coverage provided by these respective gig apps, but they have additional coverage options to fill in the gaps of that in-app work. In periods two and three, very simple, when you actually got your assignment or ride request to the moment that you complete that assignment or ride request, we have coverage by the rideshare or delivery platform, but again, sometimes with a very high deductible. So here's where you benefit from Voom's deductible cap coverage, again, reducing that out-of-pocket expense. All right, Mike, well, I know I need coverage if I'm working on these different gig platforms. Doesn't matter if you're doing this part-time or full-time, but I certainly don't want to pay a ton for it, yet I want a comprehensive policy. So let me show you exactly how Voom does this. Number one, probably the simplest thing you can do, and it's pretty awesome that Voom actually does this, is you just sync your driving accounts to Voom when getting a quote, and they're gonna use your odometer to actually calculate the miles. So check it out. You just sync one or more of your driving apps, you take a picture of your odometer, and that's how they know which miles to include under the pay per mile policy. So since your business miles, the miles in the different apps, those are already insured by the platforms so Voom can take those miles and just deduct it off your premium. I want to actually show you some numbers though so let me show you a quote. So after syncing my apps I simply put in my driver information. Step two pretty simple just put in my vehicle information and then boom step three I get a quote it's that simple. Now next steps for you because I feel like we're trying to make as much money as possible on these different gig apps. What's the best app? Things are changing, best practices. But on the money saving side, this should be at least a part of your due diligence in getting a quote to see again, can I have the comprehensive policy while also saving money? And because of that, again, I'm happy to partner with Voom on this video. But number one, do your due diligence in your research, get a quote. We have an affiliate link, link down below in the description. Currently, Voom's available in Tennessee and Arizona. 
And if you're not in those states, one good thing that Voom actually set up for you that, frankly, some of these platforms haven't even set up is an active wait list. So I'd want to know if I can save money. So that's good. If you're not in those states there, that's one less thing to worry about. Go over there and at least sign up for that wait list.